Yeah, yeah. Morning, uh, morning, folks. Uh, we're in the um, uh, Swiss from last week. This is a follow-up video. Um, it has indeed done what it was supposed to do. Uh, <coughs> from, from at this point, yeah, a little bit of room left, maybe. Um, but we must not forget there is a weekly sell uh, setting up. So we don't want to hold this uh, too long um, because this will need to play out at some point. Um, so yeah, we're at this point now looking for cells in Swiss. So we are going to exit our Swisses here. We had the pound, uh, New Zealand. What else do we have? Rise, um, CAD, of course. CAD set up. Hang on. <coughs> uh, there it is. Uh, it's all, and it's kind of back, so I'm not going to waste time with this. We're a little, little late on that, but I do want to get rid of it. I want to get rid of all these. There's probably a little bit more room left, but like I said, but we don't want to be holding overnight against the weekly now. Because that is going to us problems. Um, it's the same. We had we were watching this on the one minute yesterday, and everything played out. But there was a 15 minute um, sell in in yen, um, and what happened? Well, everything worked, but the the the, the one minute was not really enough power to go for any decent distance in time, um, but the one minute down worked quite quite nicely. Um, yens look like this, so I would imagine we're coming down here sometime soon as retail are far too long and this will have to play out. If we go to a higher time frame. see a similar story um, and obviously we have to compare these with the other currencies I'm just being a little bit lazy today being a, um, uh, the 31st so that's uh, seven days after Pisces 12 so it's a Libra day um, so <coughs> Let's do stuff, and then let's not do stuff. Matter, uh, mood. Uh, where are we here? Um, but we will we'll remember this 15 minute, okay? And then we'll change the rest of them. Oh, hang on! Before we do that, let's just make sure we've got rid of all the Swisses. I think we did. Uh, I think we have a U.S. dollar that we're working on. Still got this. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, we got a few dollars that we're working on here, but we're going to close that as well. We don't want to hold any Swisses. So now let's think if the Swisses go down dramatically on the weekly, um, that's going to give some power to the rest of dollar can go down as well with the Swiss. Um, yeah, so I think that's going to be our long-term trade here for the year. Um, and we're saying here that we're, we're trying to see anything else on the weekly that's matching this okay. retail on too long. So weekly and 
we have to zoom in a fractal or two. So it lines up the same time frame. No opinion on these. Um, we have no opinion here. We know when we were zoomed out, the weekly was telling us sell, sell dollar. Yeah, up here. So we're not going to jump in that here because we could get a pullback up to there and end down. Get too married to that. Swiss is the one for now. Uh, let me move the observer. Same deal, New Zealand is in the middle, Aussie is kind of open. Right. We'll go back and we'll check here. Again. Maybe Canada as a buy soon, but it's, it's a long way off. Uh, and now let's just bring the observers over here. Um, mustn't forget this. So that is a definite yen sell from it. Oh, yeah. But we could again get a pullback up to here and end down. Uh, we wanted to be selling that up here. So um, if there's a 15 minute buy here, we'll take it up and then we'll sell it again. Because uh, we kind of want the Swiss to be doing, doing the opposite. Um, yeah. So let's think about this. We know that the Swiss has gone too far. We know that the pound, the CAD, is a little cheap. So if the Swiss was to continue up. Well, the CAD still has more room to go up. So CAD will be the stronger currency. So if we're wrong, the Swiss goes up, CAD will still be a strong currency because it will have a lot of distance to go up. Um, <clears throat> while if Swiss falls, which is what we're expecting, well, CAD has already come down. So if CAD falls, it's not going to have to fall as much. So I like to look at this as a uh, double hedge uh, trade. Uh, and we will go ahead and go all in on a weekly CAD uh, buy Swiss uh, from this perspective with an enormous stop. Um, wherever that is literally spend two, three weeks, however long it takes, a month uh, adding to this trade. 
uh, at the best possible price. That's going to be our trade of the year uh, to hold, or however many months it goes on for. Uh, here is the CAD Swiss, and uh, on the weekly chart, not this, oh, well, there we go. It's excellent. So that's our trade. We don't care that we're a little late here. We missed that because our stop on a weekly trade is somewhere down here. target would be up here because they're not going to have done any of all of this just to move it here they're going to move it here and since it's a double hedge it's it's going to take these highs down so that will be our target on the week modify that should get us somewhere in the game We'll take this high and put this back down here. I don't think it'll come that far, but whatever. So, so over the next two weeks, slash into this line here, we're going to be buying open. And we're open minded to come and take out the lows. If it does, we'll buy more. Uh, yeah. All right, guys. Well, have a uh, have a have a great day. Hope that uh, hope that helped. I'll uh, I'll have some uh, more short term trades uh, videos. Uh,